with that, I'm happy to take questions. Rich? Hi. Uh, is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right? We're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. The world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th, a minute afternoon, will also be successful. I went through a transition on the front, and I've, I've been on the other side of this. I'm very confident that we will uh, do all the things that are necessary to make sure that the, the government, the United States government, will continue to perform its national security function as we go forward. Do you believe there's widespread voter fraud with the reports that we're getting from Pennsylvania, from Michigan, showing vote totals and massive leads or significant leads? with 99% reporting are going to be overturned and that the United States failed to conduct a fraudulent free election? Rich, I'm the Secretary of State. I'm getting calls from all across the world. These people are watching our election. They understand that we have a legal process. They understand that this takes time, right? It took us 37 plus days in an election back in 2000, we conducted a successful transition then. I'm very confident that we will count, and we must count every legal vote. We must make sure that any vote that wasn't lawful ought not be counted. That dilutes your vote if it's done improperly. Got to get that right. When we get it right, we'll get it right. We're, we're, we're in good shape. Should foreign leaders right. not be calling we're, we're, we're President-elect Biden? Who's next? Yeah. Christina? Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? Good. Good, good. Um, is there any evidence that the CCP has interfered in the recent election or is trying to sow chaos in the aftermath of the legal challenges? Was the question about Russia? Oh, I'm sorry, CCP or any, uh, any yeah, foreign? Yeah, any, any foreign interference. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that question to the Department of Homeland Security and to the Justice Department, the folks who deal with that. But as I think we all said uh, prior to the election, uh, we did an enormous amount of work uh, to reduce the risk that they would have the capacity to have a significant capability to... Uh, to interfere in the elections themselves. Uh, and I'll, I'll leave the details of what they have determined so far about that to, for them to announce. Go ahead, I'll take one more. Hello. Hi. Hello, Secretary. Um, you said when the process is completed. Mm -hmm. So what, when are you ex Yeah, what, this, is the, you, this, but, is, this but, is the third question. But, just, just, just ma'am, if you would. I came out here today and talked about important foreign policy issues. This is now the so third this question. Is the most important thing that's happening in this country right now. I'm wondering. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and ask your question. I'll give my answer. What kind of guidance are you giving to American diplomats on how to characterize the results of the presidential election? And also, this department frequently sends out statements encouraging free and fair elections abroad. Yes. And for the losers <laughs> of those elections to accept the results, doesn't President Trump's refusal to concede discredit those efforts? That's ridiculous, and you know it's ridiculous, and you asked it because it's ridiculous. Uh, look, the truth, tr you, you, you asked the question, yes, ma'am, you asked the question, if you, if you will permit me to answer it. Um, you asked a question that is ridiculous. This department cares deeply to make sure that elections around the world are safe and secure and free and fair, and my officers risk their lives to ensure that that happens. They work diligently on that. We often encounter situations where it's not clear about a particular election. We work to uncover facts. We work to do discovery to learn whether, in fact, the outcome, the decision that was made reflected the will of the people. That's our responsibility. That's what we try to do, along with partners all across the world, along with OSCE inspectors, to make sure that those elections were free and fair. We want every one of those votes to be counted in the same way that we have every expectation that every vote here in the United States will be counted, too. It is totally appropriate. The United States has an election system that is laid out deeply in our Constitution. And we're going to make sure that, that we get that right. And we have, we, we have all of you have, sh and should be committed to making sure that that happens. I think every one of you wants that same outcome. You want every vote to be counted. You want to run the process. We want uh, the, the law to be imposed in a way that reflects the reality of what took place. And that's what I think we're engaged in here in the United States, and is what we work on every place all across the world. Thank you all. How are you advising diplomats overseas to refer to President-elect Joe Biden? 